Uh, well, I started collecting back in 1995. Um, Goldeneye had just come out with Pierce Brosnan as the new James Bond. Um, there was a different style and feel to, um, to the new movie. And I already collected toys, um, generally. And I just decided I wanted to collect James Bond toys. Um, and uh, 20 years later, here we are. Back in 1995, um, the internet was just starting, so we did it the old-fashioned way. I actually went and hunted down these things. So with a friend of mine, we used to go on holiday and, and travel abroad together. I've been to many different European countries. I've been to America quite a number of times, and um, we went to toy shops and met other collectors. We traded, and um, luckily I managed to find some great stuff. Uh, when I first started, I, I bought a few items, and, and they, they, they turned into a, maybe a, a hundred or so items, and I, and I really thought uh, I was going to be, be there and at the end of it. And, and 20 years later, um, we did the count for uh, Guinness World Records, and it was something like 12,900. And unfortunately, I couldn't stop there, and I'm still collecting, and now we think we're hitting around the 15 and a half to 16,000 mark, so... And it's, and it's still stuff arriving today, so it's going, it's going well. Most of the valuable items are probably in the cabinet right behind me. <laughs> the, um, the 1960s stuff from films like Thunderball and You'll Live Twice. And I guess I was working out the other day as I carefully put all those toys in the cabinet that took place and would be in the region of £20,000. There are a couple of pieces I really like. One is a James Bond snow globe from Thunderball and it shows James Bond fighting um, a frogman underwater with a shark ready to attack them. Um, and another piece which turned up last year is um, a simply an item that shouldn't exist anymore. It's a James Bond, um, you only live twice, Pepsi can. It's a regular Pepsi can, it has a paper label on it saying you only live twice and I love it. I must say, I'm absolutely blown away by the fact that I'm now a Guinness World Record holder. I can't actually believe it. Um, when I grew up as a kid, I, I knew every word in that book, every picture. Um, I lapped it up and watched the TV programmes, and it's something that never occurred to me could ever be part of my life. 